Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll, illustrated by John Tenuax. All in the golden afternoon, full leisurely we glide, for both our oars with little skill by little arms applied. With little hands make vain pretense our wanderings to guide. Ah, cruel three in such an hour, beneath such dreamy weather, to beg a tale of breath too weak to stir the tiniest feather. Yet what what can one poor voice avail against three tongues together? Imperious prima flashes forth the edict to begin it. In gentler tones Secunda hopes there will be nonsense in it, while Tertia interrupts the tale not more than once a minute. Anon to sudden silence one, in fancy they pursue the dream child moving through a land of wonders wild and new, in friendly chat with the bird or beast, and half believe it true. And ever as the story drained, the wells of fancy dry, and faintly strove that weary one to put the subject by. The rest next time, it is next time, the happy voices cry. Thus grew the tale of Wonderland, thus slowly, one by one, its quaint events were hammered out, and now the tale is done. And home we steer, a merry crew, beneath the setting sun. Alice, a childish story take, and with a gentle hand, lay it where childhood's dreams are twined in memory's mystic band, like pilgrims withered wreath of flowers, plucked in a far-off land.